Hello, and welcome to today's demonstration of the Denodo platform. Today, we're gonna to see how Denodo solves several of the most common data management challenges. Organizations continue to struggle with the data landscape complexity and how to integrate data quickly. The data is distributed across different locations and in different formats because, because it is required for different purposes by different business users. The traditional point-to-point -point integration methods are complex, costly, and can't respond to the business needs rapidly. So how can Denodo solve this data integration challenge and enable a more responsive and agile enterprise? Denodo addresses these integration challenges with a logical approach that leverages a technique called data virtualization. We provide an abstraction layer that sits between your data sources and consuming applications. The Denodo platform will connect to your data sources and extract the metadata for the tables and views that your users require, thus providing a single point of access for all of your data regardless of where it resides. Your developers will then create a universal semantic model that ties together all of your data sources. Unlike other tools that provide a semantic layer, the model created in Denodo is accessible by any consuming application, whether it's a reporting tool like Power BI or a mobile application. Navigating the data ecosystem has become increasingly difficult for business users. As a number of data sources grow, it only becomes more difficult to find the right data for a business need. Denodo's data catalog enables any organization to build their own self-service data marketplace. The business users can search, browse, and explore data sets quickly, and they don't need to be concerned with the complexities of how data should be accessed or joined because it is all managed within the logical layer. The unique combination of Denodo's logical semantic layer and the data catalog allows organizations to simplify their data ecosystem and provide centralized governance and security that provide, promotes reuse and overall trust in the data. Let's now look at how the Denodo platform can solve a typical business requirement quickly and easily. Every business is continually monitoring performance and analyzing how it can be improved. In our demo scenario, the business wants to understand if the weather has impacted store sales in the past. In order to provide this data, we'll need to combine our internal store sales data with some external weather data that shows the average temperature for each day. Today, we will demonstrate in four steps how we can address this new business need. First, we will use the discovery feature of Denota's data catalog to see if there's an existing data set that we can leverage. Second, we will use the Denodo Design Studio to logically integrate the new weather data with our existing store sales data. Next, I will show how to document, manage, and assign access to the new data set. And finally, I will show how a data set can be delivered or consumed in various ways. You will see how the same semantic model can be accessed via data service as well as a BI tool. So let's look at how you can discover data by leveraging the Denodo platform. For the demo today, I will start with a business user who is looking for a data set that combines daily store sales and weather data. Here is the Denodo data catalog. This will be your single point of entry for all of your Denodo data. You can organize and customize the data using these various widgets that you see here on the screen, but for today, we're just gonna go ahead and search for all store sales related data. So I see at the top here, we have a view all store sales. And based on the description information, it looks like it probably has the data set that I'm looking for. So I'm gonna take a closer look at this view. So this is the view summary page. And so this aggregates all of the metadata that I have for this particular view. And you can see here that I've applied additional metadata elements, specifically categories, I've put it in the marketing category. And I've also applied a tag, in this case, report ready, which tells the end users that it can put this directly in a report. Now the catalog also allows me to do some collaboration on these views. So I can endorse, warn, and deprecate any view that I like. I can see here that the administrator has already endorsed this particular view. So I'm gonna go ahead and take a closer look at it. The schema tab gives me more detailed information about the individual columns. So I can see the field description, the data type, and even any tags that have been applied to any, any of the view columns. Now I could go ahead and query this view if I want, but I'm gonna take a closer look at the rest of the metadata. 
Now the data profiling tab is gonna show me the distribution of the data set. So I can see the year range here, I can see the date range, I can see the percentage of null values, and I can see the distinct values as well. The usage tab is gonna show me how people are using this view right now. So I can see who are the most common users, I can see what applications they're using, and I can even see the actual queries that they're running against this particular view. Now the data lineage tab is gonna show me where all of the data came from. So this particular view is a union, and I can see that the primary data set is coming from the data lake and the EDW, as well as several other data sources. If I click on any of the fields here on the left-hand side, it'll show me the complete evolution of that data all the way down to the individual data source. Now the relationships tab will show me if there are any views that have an existing relationship to the view that I'm currently looking at, all store sales. And I can see here that there's a, a view daily weather by zip code that has an existing relationship. So I'm gonna go ahead and explore that particular view. So here you see the view summary for daily weather by zip code. I can see the description information, which tells me that this is summarized at the zip code level. And so I feel like this will probably be a good use case for my particular analysis, but I don't have the query tab available to me. And that's because at this point, I only have metadata access for this particular view. So I'm gonna go ahead and request full read access from my administrator by sending them an email right now. Now we're gonna take a look at how you can integrate your data using the Denoto platform. I'm gonna show you how you can bring in a new data set and integrate it with an existing data set and then how it can be published for broader consumption. And for the demo scenario, I'll be taking on the persona of a data engineer who will define the integration between the daily store sales and weather data. Here's the Denoto Design Studio. This is the primary development interface for your developers and your data engineers. And here is the view that we were looking at in the data catalog, daily weather by zip code. I'm gonna go ahead and join that to the all store sales table so that my analysts can do their job. So I'm gonna go ahead and create a new join. And you can see right away that Denoto has added the daily weather by zip code as a view that is associated with all store sales. Now, the reason for that is because that association that I showed you previously in the data catalog. And since there's an existing relationship between these two views, when I drag the uh, weather view onto my palette, Denoto is gonna automatically create the join between those two views based on the relationship. Now the output tab is, will define what my end users see when they access this view. So I'm gonna give it a new name and I'm gonna just delete the redundant columns here and then save my view. And that's all I have to do to create a view for my end users. Now, before I allow people to access this, I'd like to validate it a little bit. So I'm gonna go ahead and see how Denoto plans on running this particular view. So now I'm gonna generate the execution plan. So this tells me how Denoto plans to execute a query against this particular view. If I click at the very top here in the execution plan, I can see the optimizations that Denoto plans to apply here. And this is what I'm expecting, join reordering and data movement. Each one of these branches represents a different execution path and a different SQL statement that Denoto is sending down to the source systems. And if I click on the very bottom box here, I can see the actual statement that Denoto is running against, in this case, the Oracle database, in this case, SQL Server, and then in this case, Presto. So now that I validated Denoto is gonna execute this view how I expect, I can go ahead and publish it in a number of different ways. So this can be accessed through JDBC, ODBC, as well as any of our API interfaces, SOAP, REST, OData, or GraphQL. If I wanna publish a custom REST API, I simply select that button, save it, and now I have a new custom API for my daily stores with weather view. Now we're gonna look at how you can manage your data with the Denoto platform. I'm gonna show you how you can categorize, tag, and manage the data in a centralized manner. For the demo scenario today, I'll be taking on the persona of a data steward who will manage the data set and enrich the metadata. So here we are back in the data catalog, and I'm gonna show you how I can manage a data set as a data steward here. I'm gonna start by looking at the view that we just created. So there's the daily store sales for weather analytics. And you can see that there's really minimal metadata at this point for this particular view. 
So in order to make it more clear and easy to find this, I'm gonna enrich the metadata a little bit. I'm gonna start by categorizing this in the marketing category, since that's the group that asked for it. I'm then going to apply the report ready tag, since this is uh, validated and good to be using in a report. And I'm gonna add a description information here so people know what it is they're looking at. And then finally, I'm gonna apply an endorsement so people know there was me that validated this particular view. Now that I've added additional metadata, it should be much easier for my end users to find and use this view. Now the last step is to grant the appropriate access. And I can do that by going into the server setup permissions and simply granting the correct access to the people that I need to access this particular view. Here we have the view that we were created a little bit earlier, daily store sales for weather analytics. Now I mentioned earlier that you can query the views directly through the data catalog, and that's what I'm gonna show you right now. So I'm just gonna go ahead and select all the columns, and I'm gonna go ahead and apply a filter for a year so that it just brings back data for 2015. And go ahead and run it. Now, when it returns that result set, I can go ahead and export it to a number of different formats for do further analysis. I can also save this query so that I can share it later. And here's a list of all the queries that I've already created. There's the one that we just created now. And if I want, I can deploy this back to the repository so that this particular query gets turned into a view, or I can also share this query directly with other users by just copying this URL and mailing it out. Now, if I go back to the view itself, you'll notice that there's also this URL here, connection URLs. So Denoto is really focused on letting you connect your data set to whatever your tool of choice is. We're not trying to keep you in the data catalog. And so here we have all of the URIs for all the different APIs that you can use to connect to Denodo. And here's the rest URL for this particular view. So if I just email this view to somebody and they can run it in their browser, this will generate the data set uh, that we just created, but coming back through a REST API. Now, if I go back to the summary view, you also might notice up here, there's a button that says open in. And this is really allowing you to quickly connect to this view using either Power BI or Tableau. So if I click on the Power BI button, what it's gonna do is create a connection file that will automatically connect me to my Power BI desktop and connect me to that particular view. And here you'll see that I have an example of that. So here's the view that we were looking at, daily store sales for weather analytics. And here's the actual data set coming from that particular view. And that concludes our demo for today. I'd like to thank you for your time and appreciate you taking the time to look at our demo today.